and welcome to Spotlight on Six Star Cruises. I'm Karen Worrell, your host, destination and cruise expert for Six Star Cruises. This is where I'll tell you more about our Six Star Cruises cruise lines, destinations, and what makes each of these special and give you my first hand information and tips about them. Our first video series is going to be with the wonderful Regent Seven Seas Cruises, all about cruising with them to Alaska. Alaska is not a conventional holiday or cruise. It is an adventure. Now, I know I'm biased because I've worked in the cruise industry since 2005, but the best way to see Alaska is by cruise ship. Why? Because you get all the adventure, all the views, you get closer to the glaciers and wildlife than is mostly possible on land, and you do this all from the comfort and luxury of a stunning cruise ship. You get a front row seat to the stunning wild beauty of Alaska right from your balcony or out on deck or a comfortable chair or lounger, sitting, sipping a freshly made piping hot, hot chocolate or whatever you're in the mood for. Now there's no better way to see to cruising six star luxury. Now we're going to be looking in depth into cruising Alaska in six star luxury with exceptional Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Now I have Ed Lang, Senior Business Development Manager for Regent with me today, and he's going to share some of his experience of Alaska too, and look at what Regent can offer on their cruises here. So hello Ed, nice, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, How it's are you my today? absolute pleasure. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about uh, one of my favorite destinations, Alaska as well. Yeah. Um, it's uh, you know such a stunning, stunning and outstanding holiday choice for anyone. I absolutely agree. Wonderful. So let's take a look at what it's like to cruise Alaska with Regent. Now Regent explores Alaska getting to the heart of the action with smaller ships, getting closer to wildlife, glaciers, getting out on the water and experiencing Alaskan wildlife and Regent's fantastic excursions, um, doing things such as husky dog sledding, bear watching. Alaska is all around you as you sail, while you're embraced by the luxury and impeccable service on board. Now Alaska has a reputation for being wild, free and full of nature and it's absolutely true. The feeling of freedom there of being away from modern life in big cities and the internet, if you'd like a digital detox even, and just being away from your worries and immersing yourself in the landscapes is a tonic for the soul. And uh, that's what Alaska is to me anyway. What do you think, Ed? Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. It's, it's almost kind of get, going back to nature as such, you know, um, and getting away from it all. Um, those vast skies that you get there um, and like you said the, the wonderful nature and uh, th those sorts of experiences that that you can have when you're when you're sailing there but it's also got some really great culture and history there too you know yeah. in terms of um, you know some very interesting sights and uh, and sounds that you can hear and experience when you're up there so it's it's got both both things for me um, and it, it goes to show that you don't just have to go to a a hot sunny destination necessarily to, to enjoy a cruise. Absolutely, yes, I totally agree. It's got a bit of everything. Um, so uh, what makes cruising to Alaska with Regent different than cruising there with other cruise lines? Um, there's, there's obviously for, for Regent overall, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a big difference in, in terms of our all-inclusive offering um, and the fact that everyone gets exactly the same thing. And, and, and essentially it, it, it makes it a really nice convivial atmosphere across the board. Um, so people, you know, uh, there's no sort of upstairs, downstairs mentality. You meet some people on the tour and you want to go and have some drinks together after the tour. It's fine. You can say, can I have 10 glasses of champagne, please? Not a problem at all. There's no checking if you've got that, that package or this package. Um, and also obviously, you know, for us, the, the, the key pillar of our in, in, inclusive offering is our shore excursions. And this is a destination where you're going to use those shore excursions. Um, you know, it's all about those ashore experiences and on board. I mean, obviously, the, the stuff that you see um, through the inside passage and when you go to the Hubbard Glacier is, is very, very impressive. Um, but for me, those, those local, cultural, historical, scenic um, experiences that you get that we include in our cruise fare are so critical to make it a, a wonderful holiday. But then what, what also we, we do offer is, is smaller ships, like you said. So um, it's a few hundred guests on board um, rather than thousands. And what that does is it offers a lot of space on board the ship. It's an all suite or balcony ship. So you've got your own private viewing gantry when you're doing those you know, days at sea. When the whales go by. Yes, that's it, yeah. Um, 
and it means that we can offer some really nice exceptional kind of service and um, the Hubbard Glacier Day I know that what we do is we, we, we want in the observation lounge we have crew around there handing out glasses of champagne so you're in the observation lounge of our, our ship uh, looking at this beautiful uh, glacier having a look at the whales but also getting this wonderful service and our crew to guest ratios are so high that that we have those phenomenal phenomenal service experiences and it means that we can offer local ex dining experiences even i know uh, a colleague recently has been on board and she we, we served this beautiful halibut ceviche on board and it was local alaskan halibut locally sourced locally bought um, and generally we try and locally source as much so even though you're on a a, a, a sort of big resort ship as such um, we are trying to offer people authentic local experiences even on on board the ship and it and it works as well in the fact that we have an expert on board uh, and uh, usually a marine biologist and they're on the public announce system uh, talking you through what you're seeing and, and what you experience and they also they offer guest lectures as well on board um, complimentary to you so there's so many things that make it an amazing, amazing experience when you do sail with us in Alaska. Wonderful. And we're going to be taking a look at the shore excursions, a little bit more about what's on board, looking at glaciers as we go through this series as well. So that sounds wonderful. And I cruised on Regent recently myself when, when you were there too, Ed. Um, and I interviewed you on board too. And I have to agree, the service is second to none. Every tiny little detail was taken care of, um, as you said, which was wonderful. Um, and I've spent a lot of time on cruise ships for many years um, and been on lots of different ships with and seen different different ways of service and different ways of working on them and sailed as a guest multiple times too. And it really impressed me on board Regent um, for these, the tiny little touches and the shore excursions being included, I think is one of the big, big selling points, as you say, especially in Alaska. Yes, absolutely. And, and obviously it's worth a, a huge amount of money, the value that is offered uh, with those tours um, on top of the amazing take home remember for the rest of your life experiences when you when you do cruise in Alaska for sure and indeed yeah the service is is what makes us a special luxury experience that you know that feeling of being so well looked after that you're part of a family um, and that is really what what we're all about and 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 uh, our guests absolutely love it yeah and that was something that impressed me the tiny details that stood out um, everything was thought of. Um, I stayed in a penthouse suite and my butler, Ambu, hi Ambu, he magically appeared as soon as I got in the suite. Um, and even though I arrived a little bit later than planned, he, he knew when I was there, he introduced my, himself uh, very professionally. He gave me a tour of the suite. He showed me around and, you know, of course, some things are very obvious, the bathroom, the closet, the bed, the TV, um, balcony. But the things that really impressed me were the little details, like the TV remote uh, being discreetly tucked away a neat holder on the nightstand, um, a set of drawers with a little teddy bear on top of it, lots of tiny things that you might forget on your cruise. Um, you didn't have to go to the front desk for anything, um, you know, say, can I have a toothbrush? Everything was here, sewing kit, all the tiny details, very, very impressive. So let's take a look, a closer look at cruising in Alaska. Now, Alaska is one of the best places to cruise to in the world. The scenery is breathtaking, the crisp, clean, fresh air, nature all around you. It's peaceful, wild and rugged, truly the last frontier. And cruising to the 49th and most northern state of the United States takes you to glaciers, whales, mountains, forests and brings you into the wilderness in style. Taking a helicopter ride over a glacier to see the sheer magnitude and feel this of the majestic natural wonders and landing on it being pulled on a sled by huskies is an unforgettable bucket list worthy adventure. And also switching off and giving in to this feeling of being part of the Alaskan landscape. It's very healing and thrilling at the same time. Now, we, uh, we can see the Huskies here. This is just a once in a lifetime experience. When you're, sail you're going across a glacial field of, co field of compact ice that's taken hundreds of years to form, it's truly spectacular. and makes you f really realize how small we are in comparison to nature. Now you can take a trip on the White Pass Railway as well in Skagway on one of the most uh, famous train rides in the world too. 
um, and you go past mountains and glass-like lakes that reflect the peaks up above in symmetry. You breathe in the mountain air, smell the pine trees in the forests. Now, Tonga's natural, National Rainforest is the largest temperate rainforest in the world, and it can be explored in many different ways, hiking through the forest, hearing the birds above you, or even walking on top of it on rope bridges is wonderful as well. Now, one of the most popular animals here are bears. You'll see them around in different ports, so take a look out for them, because um, seeing them in their natural habitat is just mesmerizing from a safe distance, of course. And there are black bears, brown or grizzly bears, or even polar bears in the Great White State. Now, Alaska has more American bald eagles than every other US state combined, and seeing them soar above you is magical. Native American culture is abundant in Alaska with several First Nations peoples living here. And you can learn about their history, traditions, and ways of living today on immersive regent tours, like Ed was talking about, uh, through dance and music, storytelling, and learning about crafts, the art of totem pole carving, and regents' free unlimited shore excursions included as standard on every cruise means you can fully immerse yourself in all aspects of Alaska. So Ed, we've taken a look at an overview of Alaska and what it's like to cruise there with Regent. Thank you very much for your insights and information so far. Thanks very much. You are very welcome. So in our next episode, we're going to take a look at something rather special that Regent is offering at the moment. Now, this is one of the best land experiences you can have in Alaska. It is going on the Rocky Mountaineer train journey. Now, Ed, can you tell us a little bit about your current offer? Yes. Um, I mean, the two go hand in hand, they fit like gloves. Uh, if you're going to go and see the Rockies on the Rocky Mountaineer, why wouldn't you go on an Alaskan cruise? And vice versa, if you're looking to do an Alaska cruise, you know, this Rocky Mountaineer scenic journey is, is a no-brainer. Um, so what we've done is uh, we've actually worked at getting five voyages where you get a complimentary five-day pre-cruise tour uh, on the Rocky Mountaineer. Um, and then obviously a seven night um, region Alaskan, uh, Alaskan cruise. Um, and yeah, they, they, the, the, the tour itself is absolutely phenomenal. Two nights in, in Banff uh, with some sightseeing tours, um, an overnight in Kamloops what, during your two day Rocky Mountaineer gold leaf experience, and then two nights in Vancouver uh, with a great orientation tour there as well. So um, that and much, much more. Uh, to, to, to come on the next episode. Absolutely, and we will get into a bit more detail about that next time, but that's a little taster, um, so you know what's coming up. That sounds very, very interesting. We'll tell you all about it next time. Plus, over the next few episodes, we'll look further into some of the main ports that Regent Seven Seas Cruises sails to in Alaska. We'll look closer at Vancouver, where most Regent Alaska cruises sail out of, then Juneau, Ketchikan, Skagway, and Sitka, plus Icy Strait Point, and land tours to Denali, Plus, we'll take a look at Alaskan glaciers. We'll really get into the details of the best things to do in all of these ports and recommend some of the most wonderful shore excursions to take there that you can experience authentic Alaska with. I've been on most of the tours in Alaska after spending six seasons working there, so I'll be giving you my genuine top tips and favorite tours, and so will Ed as well. You will? And so we'll see you next time for information on the fascinating trip on the Rocky Mountaineer and Vancouver. See you then. Bye-bye.